It's much to do without something. Hello, you're watching Much Ado About Something today, and I'm Donna. Well, Donald and I decided to come to the farmer's market again today and maybe just pick up some groceries. Now, it's no spend month for me. September's my no spend month, but we came to the farmer's market for uh, our, in addition to our groceries for this month. So that's what we're looking for today, things that we can eat. But we brought y'all along with us so we can show you what they have today. Go for oh my God, these are so hard to resist. I grew up on these. Did you? Okay. My mama lives in Gay Lights. Okay, that's why I work in Gay Lights. They used to fit. Mm -hmm. Why don't you grow up on them? There's no rubber. There's not another case in that. Appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, we go uh, mouse that day, you know. Mouse. Beautiful. You're getting out. This is Sanders Ridge Vineyard and Winery, and this is their award-winning wines. Look at these awards. Donald and I love Muscadine. We love Muscadine wine. And he has the best. <laughs> they serve lunch and have cabins. We're open every day in our tasting room and our restaurant. Yeah. He's open every day in their tasting room and the restaurant. What's your hours? 12 to 5. We're in that building we build it ourselves. Mm -hmm. And just, out, just outside of these windows right here, we have a huge cupboard for me and overlooking this little lake. Oh. All right. Well, we'll come over and visit. Okay, okay, come up. Beets. Eggplant. Oh, yeah, scorpion, jalapeno, and ghost. Yeah, that's hot peppers. Well, good morning. Fall is in full swing. Happy fall. I know it was yesterday was the official day. Today is the second day of fall. Now, we've got rainy weather here, but that's not going to stop me. I'm going to make this cup of tea, and then I'm going to take you outside and show you the vegetable garden. The vegetable garden's done for the season. There's nothing much left there, but I want to just show you what's going on, and I want to share with you how many pounds of vegetables we got out of our little garden this year. I'm just in the kitchen. Crock Pot's got lunch uh, making for later today, and I'm just going to make my tea. And today's tea is going to be uh, from Super Digest Tea, Honey Bush, Vanilla, and Turmeric. And I'm going to add uh, one tea bag of black tea because I love black tea in the morning. It helps me get started. It helps wake me up, and uh, so I'm going to go ahead and enjoy a cup of that. 
If you would like, go ahead and uh, start a cup of tea or your favorite be beverage, maybe coffee or whatever it might be, and enjoy your morning with me as I walk out here and share with you the condition of the garden today. I'm always glad that you're here, and thank you for joining me. I forgot to add, I'm going to add a little uh, tea ball of... elderberries in my tea this morning it's a good day to go ahead and start that I'm not adding adding anything to my tea this morning. It's just going to be the elderberries, the black tea, and the little uh, tea bag that I showed you earlier. Everything is very, very wet out here. I turn my boots upside down so that they won't catch the rain. Me and Donald have got to figure out a better boot system for our back porch. Now here's the little garden. These are my little granddaughter's flowers she planted. The, pa the pack of uh, flower seeds she planted. And they look really pretty out here at the fall. It's really pretty. Well, you can see the tomatoes are dried up. Donald hadn't pulled these up yet. Everything else is pretty well gone. Here's where the cucumbers were. There's still okra plants and uh, may get an okra or two out of there for soup, but for the most part, they're gone. And it's just time to get out here and clean up the little garden space. This was our little no-dig, no-till garden space. And it's not very big. It's just a small little plot that we took out of the backyard and that we added uh, four layers of compost and, and leaves from last year. And it'll be time to do that again this year. We'll be pulling up weeds, just take coming out here and pulling these weeds up. And we'll be adding more compost, leaf, and whatever we can get our hands on. Um, but it is just finished for the year. This is our little garden plot here. It was where we had so many um, cucumbers that went up this little cattle panel that we made a little climbing wall for the cucumbers. And then we just spread our tomatoes around and had plenty of stuff growing. But it's all, all finished for this year. We have our elderberries right here that we have put on each side. Well, the elderberries were actually here when we formed where we were gonna put our little garden. And the elderberries gave shade. We didn't have just direct sun that just pulverized the vegetables if there are two areas that get a lot of sun for the vegetables that needed it but we we did we well here's a few okra let me just go ahead and harvest these while i'm out here if i can get them off got a few okra pods that i missed here <laughs> it's about three of them Three okra pods. They're hard to get off without a cutter. The 
but that'll be just enough to either fry up for a side or add to soup. I had quit picking the garden, so this is a real surprise to come out here and find these four okra still growing. But I guess these okra will uh, put out until the first frost. Now things didn't go as good in some areas as I thought it would. We planted the zucchini on the outside of the fence this year and there wasn't as much compost out that way. So Sorry I had to come in. It got noisy outside. That little rooster was deciding he wanted to yell and then Ollie wanted to whine because he wanted me to come and pet him instead of to tell you about the garden. Well, we did. We planted the zucchini outside of the garden this year. Last year we also planted it outside and it did great. But for some reason the zucchini did not do as well this year. I'm not sure if it was just the way the weather hit, the way the rain came all at once and would saturate everything and then it would be a little while before another rain came. I'm not sure why the zucchini didn't do as good this year as it did last year. Uh, I thought we would get more out of our little garden because we did. We harvested regularly. There was quite a bit of um, stuff that we had. I'll show you here. The uh, We have this uh, ongoing list and whenever we would weigh uh, anything, we would just write down the date and, and when we harvested the cucumbers and uh, the yellow squash and the zucchinis, which is what we got most of, was cucumbers, yellow squash, and zucchinis. Our tomatoes did not do as well this year as I thought they would do, but we, would, we just kept a running total here from our little vegetable garden. We kept a little... Uh, A little uh, ledger, if you will, just a little total here. And our grand total for all of our vegetables in our 2023 do not uh, teal garden turned out to be 142 and a half pounds. So that was the total that we ended up with from our 2023 little vegetable garden, our no-dig, no-till garden. I thought it would be more than this, but the tomatoes just didn't produce as much. We had uh, plenty of good, beautiful tomatoes for slicing, but we didn't really get enough tomatoes to can. And we have gotten uh, enough tomatoes to make at least maybe 30 quarts of uh, canned tomatoes, but not this year. This year we didn't have have the tomatoes that we thought we would have. Overall, still very worth the effort. We're still very pleased with it. And that was the second year we've had the no-dig, no-till garden there. We'll add um, compost and we'll add uh, amendments to our little garden area. We did add calcium at the beginning of the season to uh, try to ward off any kind of uh, end rot on the tomatoes or, or any of the other things. We planted three uh, watermelons, and they did not ripen. Uh, they ended up getting a blossom end rot before they ripened, which was sad because those were David's watermelons, our little grandbaby, our youngest grandbaby, and he was happy to plant them and to see them grow, but they did not mature. So we lost those three watermelons. We just included the hands full of uh, what we call Tommy Toes, the little cherry tomatoes. We just included those and the handfuls of uh, okra, those kind of things we all lumped. We lumped together because those came in just a few at a time. Now we had plenty, plenty of Tommy Toes. I think if we probably counted those, it would have upped our... Uh, count quite a bit, but we just planted those for the kids. Uh, we fed some to the chickens. We just ate them as we gardened. And so we didn't do, we didn't uh, 
really count those in our total. But all in all, I think it was a great little garden. I mean, it was well worth it. We'll make a few changes and uh, adjust some areas maybe of uh, things that we had growing or maybe even put some of the uh, tomatoes and things in a different area to see if they do better. But um, that, all in all, we can't say that it was a bust because it wasn't because we got quite a bit of these vegetables. That's not a bad total uh, to be getting and growing in uh, such a small space. I didn't do, uh, dedicate as much time to gardening this year for some reason. Um, my gardening has been uh, just postponed. I hope to pick that up soon. I hope anybody that's missing my gardening uh, shows will uh, know that there are some that's coming up. We've got to clean out this fall garden. Of course, today we've got a lot of rain. It's just raining, so we're not able to do much outside. Um, I did want to show you, you know, how the little... Uh, vegetable garden is just bare it's it's at the end of its um, this year's produce certainly they might be uh, maybe one or two tomatoes that we could salvage and that little handful I got those four okra when I was out there showing you around but other than that it's at the end of its production cycle for this year and I'm pleased with it, but I think we can do better. I think we can do better if we take the time to focus on it and to just uh, work harder on it and get everything laid out better this year. I think we'll be doing better. It was Some years are just not as productive as others, and this was one of those years. When I had all the uh, produce coming in, uh, I mean, I think I put up a good 42 pints of squash relish which we love squash relish um we got a handful of little cayenne peppers and things like that out of the garden but um and we used those to make the squash relish but um i didn't i wasn't uh dedicated to canning and putting up as much as i normally do this year from this little garden i didn't can any tomatoes i did can all that squash relish i um Usually, uh, what I was doing when I would pick the fresh produce is I was just incorporating it into our meals. So all summer long, we've had fresh meals. I've cut up those cucumbers. I did make several gallons of um, pickles this year. I made uh, six half-gallon jars of the uh, grape leaf pickles, which are a traditional pickle here at our house and in our family we grew up eating those and uh, we still eat those today so i got six half gallon jars of those that was quite uh you know uh, a feat that was good so we'll have those over the coming winter but i didn't uh, really get as much as i normally get canned it wasn't as productive as other previous gardens that we've had but that's just how some years are even with people i mean this year i have that garden produce come in all at once and the six grandkids were here for the summer and I was in there trying to fix meals from scratch, put up produce, watch everybody and uh, keep everybody occupied and and I got overwhelmed. I really did. I got overwhelmed and I did a video about that. I was dealing with overwhelmed that day and I can't ever remember being quite, uh, I don't think I ever have gotten overwhelmed in that way but it, it, it hit me this year. So I guess if I'd had more produce, it wouldn't have been a good thing this year. We did have two bushels of green beans. We had quite a few uh, bushels of green beans from friends and from family that gave us green beans that had more than they can use. So me and Donald did get those canned, and those, you know, have to be pressure canned. So those were a little added work. So we have the green beans, and that was a good thing. Um... Next year, we're just going to have to plan out things better and uh, make better use of our space and of the way the sun uh, hits that little garden and maybe even move some things around. Now, the front gardens are still really producing. I didn't count all the herbs from the front gardens. We've got um, quite a few herbs and, of course, the lemon balm that I use for tea. I, I dry that and use it for tea or even use it fresh to make fresh lemonade or um, lemon tea, and it's really uh, 
that's really produced this year and the sage and all the herbs out front I didn't include that in any of the uh, count I just included what we got from the little vegetable garden out back but I want to call it um, I want to say that it's somewhere in the middle the 142 and a half pounds that we got from that garden uh, we ate and we enjoyed and we we uh, put up what little you know bit we needed to those pickles and that squash relish but overall we just ate all of those vegetables and stuff as they came in I'll miss the fresh tomatoes and the fresh cucumbers those are the things I'll miss most here at fall now that they're not coming in now I'm going to include some footage of this video uh, where we went to the farmer's market and just show you that there are still plenty to be had at the farmer's market so what we uh, can't produce for ourselves, we'll be going probably there to the farmer's market and picking that up. Well, I hope you're enjoying your fall. I hope it's great. I hope it's everything you want it to be. I'm enjoying this time of the season. I'm enjoying it starting to cool off here. Get a break from some of that heat. We had some pretty hot summer days this year. And uh, so it's a welcome, fall is welcome uh, here or autumn some people call it autumn we've just called it fall you know in our area all of our life but uh i'm glad that fall was here and i'm i'm ready to step into the next season and enjoy it and then even winter time when we just are resting but there's still things to be done so i'll bring you along whatever i do in that little back garden we'll be adding leaves and compost amendments as you know we get those as those come along We'll be putting those, those on our garden, probably all during the fall and maybe even in the winter too. And then uh, out front, there'll be a major cleanup day because this time of the year, we'll have to get out there and clean our front flower beds, which are sorely neglected. But I'll share all that with you in the next gardening video. I want to thank you for joining me today. And like always, until next time.